Welcome to Firewalls.com. My name is Brian Reed and this video is the first of a series of videos that we've put together to demonstrate to you the difference in between your old UTM Unified Threat Management Firewall and today's next generation firewall that consists of all the features of your UTM along with application intelligence. All right, so the best way to do this is to demonstrate real world what's going on. In this case, we have a firewall set up where we have two policies in place. We have a policy that's allowing any traffic from our LAN to the internet to go out over the standard HTTP, HTTPS, and DNS service. So these are the really the three basic core services that most companies open up to allow their network users to access web pages. Our second policy is a simple deny anything and everything else to flow through that firewall. Okay, with these two policies in place, let's take a look underneath the hood and actually see what's going on. So if we go to our dashboard, App Flow Monitor, what this tool will do will show us the actual traffic and applications that are flowing through our firewall on the HTTP and HTTPS port. So for example, you can see we have Gmails running, we can see users running HTTP proxy, we can see Google Talk going, YouTube, uh, users using Pandora Radio, plus many other kinds of applications, uh, even BitTorrent in this case, that are running through just those open ports of HTTP and HTTPS. So what's happening is, is in the new web technologies that are out there, all of these application providers have learned that from a firewall perspective, we've been pretty good in the past at blocking outbound services. Because we used to know that AOL Instant Messenger ran on a specific port and Yahoo Messenger ran on another port. So we would create policies around that. But now with today's applications, or many of them go through the standard port 80 or 443 for the HTTP and TTPS. The takeaway from this main video is for you to have a better understanding of the fact that even though you lock all your outbound traffic except for the standard HTTP and TTPS traffic, there's still a lot of applications that can run through those open ports other than just standard web browsing. Okay, in our next video we're going to show you how you can actually utilize the application intelligence built into the new generation of the SonicWell firewalls to control the applications either through bandwidth management or simply denying access to those applications. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, please enter them in the section below and have a great day.